Fox News alert as you're looking at live pictures from Atlanta, Georgia tonight. A roaring fire has taken over the Wendy's where a 27 year old black man was shot overnight last night, Friday night into Saturday morning. He had gotten into a fight with police and taken one of their tasers. He was shot as he ran away and then pointed the taser back at the officers. Peaceful protests took over much of the area there at University Avenue and I-75, I-85. Tonight, more violent protesters or rioters have set fire to the Wendy's and blocked off much of the interstate. We're joined by Steve Rogers, former detective lieutenant at the Nutley, New Jersey Police Department, a member of the Joint Terrorism Task Force uh, in New York. Steve, we appreciate it. Uh, the Atlanta Police and Fire Department have made a tactical decision, perhaps, to not try and put out the fire at the Wendy's. The police say they can't secure the area and the fire department doesn't feel comfortable going in. What do you make of that? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that they don't have the manpower there to at least secure the area to get the fire department in. But Leland, let me, let me just state a fact here. We all saw what went on in that video. Uh, in my view, that police officer did the best he could to perhaps save his own life, for goodness sakes. Uh, this individual is not uh, passively resisting. He's fighting them. He's fighting two cops. He gets up. He runs away. He takes a weapon. That taser becomes a weapon, and he points it at the cop. So what did the mayor expect that police officer to do? And what we are seeing happen in Atlanta tonight, I'm putting that right at the lap of that mayor for quickly judging a police officer who probably in his mind was attempting to save his own life. We understand the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is, is looking into the shoot as they do. Oftentimes there is a independent agency that comes in to investigate. Uh, we're talking to Steve Rogers, formerly the Joint Terrorism Task Force. Erica Shields, the police chief, has resigned. That happened this morning. And it brings up an important question. At a time like this, where does a department look to for leadership about use of force to clear a highway or use of force to be able to get people there at the Wendy's away from it to get the fire department in? Well, there's probably right now someone acting as the chief, but I'll tell you what, my, my recommendation would be to get someone from the state police or from their uh, prosecutor's office, but get somebody in there to take command that knows what they're doing. Uh, those cops are under fire, and I've got to tell you, uh, it, it, I'm, I'm kind of burned up because when politicians stick their nose into things like this mayor did, it All ignites right. a flame across this country. They need to calm people down, for goodness sakes. Well, Steve, we, we have heard the mayor at least try to calm protesters or rioters down. She said that they were disgracing her city a couple of weeks ago and there was a lot more violence than what we're seeing tonight in Atlanta, although the night is still young. Steve Rogers, stick around with us. On the other side of the break, we bring back in Ted Williams, among others. A Fox News alert as we continue to look at live pictures from Atlanta where police and protesters are facing off. It appears as though the flames have been put out at the Wendy's restaurant where this all began overnight last night. Rashad Brooks was unresponsive in a car in the Wendy's drive through Police arrived. There was a fight. Brooks took one of the officer's tasers. You're watching video of that event in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Brooks took one of the officer's tasers and ran. He then turned around towards one of the officers with the taser in his hand, and he was shot by one of the officers three times. There have been peaceful protests all night uh, and all day in Atlanta, University Avenue and I-75, I-85. As sun went down in Atlanta, the protests took on a decidedly more violent twist. They burned the Wendy's to the ground, and police were so afraid of what might happen if they went in, they kept the fire department and the police uh, outside of the area around where the protesters were and let the Wendy's burn down. A local reporter on the scene there reports that when the flames began to shoot out of the roof of the Wendy's and the protesters could see the flames, applause broke out among uh, the protesters there. The protesters have also shut down I-75 and I-85, which is a major north-south highway in the United States. That's been shut down for hours. The police brought in tear gas, and flashbang grenades to try and clear the highway to get traffic moving again and were unsuccessful. So the highway is still shut down. We understand that the state police are also uh, on scene there in Atlanta with a growing law enforcement presence at 1130. Steve Harrigan in Atlanta reporting that protests have now sprouted out at other sites in Atlanta, potentially also at police stations, bringing up the awful thought that this could potentially turn into what happened in Minneapolis a couple of weeks ago where rioters begin to attack police stations, not just protest 
on the ground. We bring in Steve Rogers, formerly of the Nutley, New Jersey Police Department, the Joint Terrorism Task Force in New York. Steve, appreciate you being with us. And this brings up this very important balance that we see police departments having to make decisions on the fly about, which is how do you use enough force to clear protesters and to keep them from violent acts like rioting and looting and shutting down highways, but not use so much force that it incites even more protests and violent acts? Well, uh, you're absolutely right. You don't want to use excessive force. Uh, and the key word here is excessive. Uh, as Ted Williams said earlier, uh, the, the, the key element is uh, overwhelming numbers of police officers, overwhelming numbers of law enforcement officers. And they do have strategic and tactical plans that they could put into effect. You separate groups, you look for leaders, and uh, it does a lot to minimize what can turn out to be a major confrontation between the police and the protesters. It's all a matter of numbers. So what the Atlanta police, what I hope uh, that they're doing right now is bringing in reinforcements. And again, not to use excessive force, but to use the force necessary, mainly by numbers, in order to uh, overcome any possible uh, violence. And those shows of force uh, are incredibly important on the ground in terms of what people see and also, if police are willing to put an end to certain violent acts that occur, what do you make of the past 24 hours? I've never seen or heard of video footage being released by the investigative agency in less than 24 hours. The video was put out by the Georgia Bureau of Investigations perhaps even in less than 12 hours from when the shooting took place. And the police chiefs resigned and the mayor has said that the two officers should be fired. It seems as though there's an attempt to, of, of a rush to judgment or perhaps an attempt to in some way calm the, the anger in the community that hasn't worked very well. No, it hasn't. And, and I'm very troubled by that uh, quickness to show that video because, uh, look, uh, what normally you do, you have an investigation, you uh, uh, have interviews, you get all the facts, and you got to get a, to a totality of facts before you release something like that. Now, uh, it backfired. Uh, I don't know why they did it, but it certainly did, did backfire. And we must not rush to judgment whether uh, a, a police officer is at fault or not. Uh, there's no reason to rush to judgment, and it's the job, I think, of all of us uh, to try to calm everyone and not kind of add a little fuel to the fire. Well, the, the video, at least, is a very different video, obviously, than the uh, video we watched out of Minneapolis with George Floyd. There, there's many different questions and issues that are brought up by, by that video that were not brought out by George Floyd. You talk about a rush to judgment. Matt Johnson of WSB, which is... Uh, one of the ABC affiliates or the ABC affiliate in Atlanta, Georgia, reporting arrest the cops being chanted by protesters right now near the Wendy's, conceivably being arrest the police officers who shot Brooks. Uh, it appears as though one officer discharges weapon based on the video, but we don't have independent confirmation from that. The video from two different angles is running on screen right while the protests there are on the left side of your screen. Steve, what do you make of these calls by protesters? It, it's judgment cannot be made by those on the street, but as we've seen, those on the street can have an awful lot to say uh, about what happens. Well, yes, you're absolutely right. Look, those officers in Minneapolis, they should have been immediately arrested. And uh, the, universally, uh, that was indeed a murder uh, committed by a police officer. In this case, you did have an individual fighting police officers on the ground. He ran. He uh, uh, took the taser, which now becomes a weapon. So this is why there, there should not be a rush to judgment. And my fear is that so much political pressure is going to be put on some people in power, and they're going to, again, rush to judgment and uh, we could end up seeing a, a, a problem that should not have been grown into what it is right now. It's just better for everyone to calm down. Our political leaders, our clergy is very important at this hour. Yeah. Uh, community leaders to get together with the police. Look, most of our cops are good. This could be a good cop, you know. Uh, and we have to remember that these are our heroes out there every day on the lines fighting to do what? Save all of us, to protect all of us. So. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is that we got to do more thinking before talking. Uh, politicians in America are not uh, prone to that uh, <laughs> suggestion, Steve. Uh, we appreciate uh, your insight and expertise here throughout the night. Stay with us uh, as this continues uh, from Atlanta. The flames at the Wendy's are out, but the protesters are now chanting, arrest the police.